Well, it's time for Tech Tuesday. The metaverse continues to grow. The virtual world created by Facebook's parent company is set to host a concert featuring a late rapper. Oh, plus Black Friday and Cyber Monday are almost here. That means tons of cannot miss deals in tech. So joining us this morning with those headlines and more is our tech expert, Greg Nibbler. Hey, Greg, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, definitely some good deals when it comes to tech and electronics here coming up over Black Friday to Cyber Monday, even starting now. So just want to give a couple of tips and tricks I would recommend to get the best deal. So number one, I would say, if you're going into this and you specifically want to find like a television or a laptop, do some research ahead of time to find out what it is exactly you want, what you'd be willing to sacrifice when it comes to a deal, because there's going to be a lot of variations out there. And if you have a good, even, even just a dollar range that you're looking for, I think you're going to get the best value for your money. So do a little bit of research. Uh, another recommendation is take a look at all of the different sites that you might go to, like maybe it's Best Buy, Amazon, Target, Newegg, whoever it is, and set up an account ahead of time. And that way you can have a cart ready to go. You can even, even load the product into your cart. You don't have to buy it right then, but that way it's there and you can quickly go and, and check it out, you know, get it before it sells out. So have that ready to go ahead of time, do a little bit of that prep work for it. And then finally compare some different shopping sites. So Google shopping will be a good way to actually see prices for a bunch of different retailers all at one time. It gives you a pretty good range on there. Uh, other ones you can add on to your browser are Camel, 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 or Honey, which will give you historically what the prices are for some of these products. And that way you can know, you know, is this actually a good deal? What, what did it cost two weeks ago? You know, where are we at on that? It'll just give you a better range to understand what you're shopping for. So just some, some prep tips there. But that being said, there are some good deals out there right now already. If you're looking for televisions, particularly maybe a couple years old on the models, but there's a Hisense one out there right now, 75 inch, that is uh, $800 off. So that's already, that's about half price for that. So that's a really good deal on that one. You've got Samsung, which has an 85 inch television that is $500 off. It's last year's model. So you don't have the brand new one, but you know, it's a year old for 500 bucks. That's that's a pretty good sacrifice in my opinion. And then you've also got like some Apple AirPods Pro 2. So some new Apple Apple AirPods, if you're looking for those, those are 50 bucks off right now. Maybe some better deals coming on those in the next couple of days, but lots of stuff to check out. I would just say target specifically what you're looking for, unless you just want to go there and start clicking on everything and just buy, buy, buy. I would target it. No, see, that's yeah. dangerous. I do that. Yeah. Don't don't be like me. I like the idea of setting <laughs> up your cart and, and getting your account ready to go, though, because there's nothing more nerve wracking than trying to type in your credit card numbers before the lightning deal right. runs out and you don't want to miss it, you know? Yep. And then you get that out of stock message. And uh, yeah, it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That advice about, uh, you know, last year's models of TVs. I wouldn't know the difference between a 2021 TV and a 20. 22 yeah. TV to that, tell you better than my so. nine year old TV. So, <laughs> yeah, <you know>. exactly. <laughs> well, I like to, uh, Greg, I like to listen to music in the car. So, you know, good car speakers are really important to me. Uh, I understand that uh, LG is doing something with car speakers that's pretty cool. What is it? Yeah, so this is LG making this announcement how they think they can revolutionize the car speaker. So instead of being, you know, a big speaker that goes into your door panel or wherever, they've created something that is tiny that they believe can replace it. And so it's actually called, I'm going to pull up the name because it's a it's not an easy one to remember, Thin Actuator Sound Solution. So you need to work on the marketing on that. But <laughs> what it is, is this is essentially a speaker that's about the size of a passport. They said it's about as thick as two uh, coins. So very small that wow. they can put in all kinds of places in the car. Yeah. And it uses the actual car itself to help uh, you know, reverberate the sound around with it, within it. So they say they can create these this 3D sound within a car by burying these things. It could be in the seat, could be anywhere else in there. And that would not only, you know, make good sound according to them, but also open up all that space where the speakers are. So it's a pretty cool concept. We'll have to see if it actually works, but this is their announcement how they, how they think it's going to be changing up. And they said it's going to be rolling out into some cars next year. Ooh, all that's right. interesting. Could be, yeah. A, yeah, could make for a real slick ride. Uh, hey, so for anyone who's got those VR uh, meta headsets, they are trying to move into the concert realm here with a hyper realistic avatar. This is an interesting idea. <laughs> It is. So this is something that they announced that's going to be coming up in December. And uh, they've created this whole world. This was actually earlier this year called The Brook, which is basically a 1990s version of Brooklyn. And to go along with that, on the 
25th anniversary of uh, his passing away, uh, they're going to have a concert featuring an avatar of Biggie Smalls. So they said it's hyper-realistic. You're going to be able to go into this thing, again, in this VR world. There's going to be kind of a, a story that goes along with it where you're riding along with him in a car, and then it goes into a concert where supposedly it's going to look you know, like the notorious B.I.G. standing right there next to you. The concert's also going to feature uh, Diddy's going to show up, the locks, like a bunch of 90s people are going to be in this as well. But it's part of this move that they want for more experiences and i guess you know it is a vr world that can recreate this but we'll have to see where they go you know are we going to have more like this is it going to be uh, you know basically the new hologram concert we're going to have a vr concert of of avatars of people not for sure but that's what's going to be happening and huh. it's on december 16th is when this launches okay. wow how realistic that looks yeah i mean that's it really cool. did feel like i was walking along with biggie i'd rather sit yeah. on my couch with a headset than pay ninety thousand dollars for a taylor swift ticket so yeah vr concerts <laughs> might be where it's at who knows there you go yeah yeah it <laughs> takes it one step further than uh two pocket coachella I'll right, tell you that. right. Yeah. <laughs> all right thank you very much greg we appreciate the rundown we'll see you again soon sounds great and don't miss a thing when it comes to the latest in tech. Just follow Greg on Twitter. He's at Greg Nibbler.